Because it, it's in screensaver and it went out. All right. Yeah. 
take you from the bottom and go down to the bottom and hit the white bar. And it's on HDMI 3. Oh. <coughs> That's somebody else's problem. It did as soon as okay. it went to sleep. Uh, See, isn't that, that nice? Right. That goes back. <laughs> That'll go away. Commercial. Aren't those guys okay? So how do you do that? Damn. See? Where's my paper? As usual, I forgot my notes. So, uh, should we start with fertilizer first or tonics first? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Okay, fertilizer, uh, what I've seen is the people who uh, do the most consistent of their fertilizers who aren't doing either weekly or daily <coughs> or however they do it. But, and it's usually the wife that does it, the husband takes care of the, you know, the repotting and crap like that. But it's got to be somebody who says, every Tuesday I'm going to fertilize. So I don't know if you remember uh, Kenneth, Kenneth Judy. Kenneth uh, Judy. Ross. Ross. Russ. Russ. R U S S. Right. Yeah. Russ. But the, uh, the lady part does the fertilizing religiously, and their plants are renowned for how wonderful they grow and how floriferous they are. Judy Wagner does it every week, religiously. And besides that, she talks, looks at each plant every day. And uh, I went over to Frank Smith at, at uh, Crow, Crow, Smith. Crow Smith Arkins, and I said, Frank, what is this? Look at the size of these plants. How are you doing this? You aren't repotting the flippers like I always suggest you just repot them once a month, once a, once a year. He said, no, Jamie, what I do is I <coughs> fertilize them every day weekly with my very expensive system of uh, automatic injection of fertilizer. It's just well water. Well, I don't know what kind of water he has, but it's really good. Because that's why all the nurseries are out in the pop, because they have really good water in that area. And uh, I fertilize them every day weekly, weekly, weekly. Weekly, like, oh. <laughs> and then once a month, I shut off the fertilizer, turn on the water, the sprinkler for eight hours to clean out the fertilizer crystals of uh, minerals. And, uh, okay, is there anybody else? Oh, so then I went to Bobber's Orchids. Of course, I've been to Otis Orchids, and he fertilizes. A different way he fertilizes a whole bunch. How much does Arkin so does Arkin fertilize? They ask, well he gives if it says what teaspoon he puts in one cup. So as a result he's got plants growing like crazy, including the weeds. The other so I went to Palmer's Orchid. Who said the Palmer's Orchid? What was the name? Palmer. P-A-L-M-E-R. M-E-R. -E 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 so I was so impressed with how immaculate. You were there? <coughs> He's in Bradenton. But it's uh, quite a long drive. But it's well worth it if you're interested. It's a good orchid. But he's got uh, immaculate orchids. And he blows them so much. Uh, well. And uh, so I discovered what he uses. <coughs> but this thing will cooperate with me. Can you? I went to Busy Bee Nursery. Who knows where Busy Bee Nursery is? Make sure this doesn't fall. Okay, Busy Bee is up north that one. Okay. Across the street from Poland's Women's Hall. So Busy Bee turned out to have, Palmer came out with his own fertilizer. <coughs> oh, I forgot. Prior to that, I used to use Bill's Best. How do you know Bill talks? He's frequently given talk here. Okay, anyway, he has more cultural awards than anybody else in the world. He has, because uh, he's such a good grower. So I went to his place and he's 
created a dog fertilizer, you can buy it. I don't know if he still sells it, but I don't buy it anywhere because I know I buy power circuits, but he, it's mainly calcium nitrate. The nitrates are a good fertilizer. <coughs> and uh, most of the fertilizers you buy at the Home Depot or even supposedly good ones have uh, nitrites in them. And it depends on the bugs in the media and uh, whatever to convert the nitrate trikes to nitrates because the nitrates are what the plants really love. So anyways, I saw Palmer orchids, how wonderful they were. Then I went by Busy Bee and I said, what's this? And he, they had bags of Palmer's cow bag with seaweed fertilizer. I bought it right away and that's what I've been using. Okay, now, I did bring a bag of cow, cow bag with seaweed because I poured it all into a thing. Because many of the fertilizers are hygroscopic and they suck up water just out of the atmosphere and then make a little <coughs> pool at the bottom of your exposed thing. So I put it in a uh, spaghetti container that I could close the lid on. So I couldn't bring it. What are you doing? Just touch it. What? Touch it, touch the mouse. It should come back. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Here. You can watch the video. Okay. I'm going to reset his phone. doesn't go to sleep. So, uh, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. I, I used to be a computer guy, but now all, and I like Diana who remembers everything. I don't remember anything. So I don't remember how to get to where I want to go. I don't know. Okay, anyways, uh, cow bag with Palmer's cow bag with uh, seaweed is a really good fertilizer because it uh, addresses all the issues that orchids need. Number one, you, when you feed your orchids, there's no such thing as feeding your orchids. Orchids don't need food, they make food. All plants make food, thank the Lord. Because if we didn't have plants making food from sunlight, we would all be dead. So Marcus takes atoms and they combine them into food, using chlorophyll and sugar and all that stuff. So, uh, so he's got all the stuff that they need, like the uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, uh, calcium, magnesium, and uh, whatever the other stuff is. What is it? What, what do you think about over-the-counter fertilizers like miracle Grow for orchids? <laughs> okay, number one, anything is better than nothing. Anything is better than nothing. If you already got a 20-pound bag, pound bag of uh, some fertilizer from Home Depot, you can keep using it because anything is better than nothing. And the plants really don't care. That's why they don't care if they get, uh, uh, what am I drooling? Try, try two, four, one, zero. Two, four, one, zero. And he's not sure that's how it works. Two, four, one, zero. So, uh, so 
So they don't care where they get their, you know, that's why the fertilizer industry is so big, because the plants really don't care where they get their nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium from. But if you could give them some stuff that we don't know about, like a seaweed or mystery ingredients, like it's Super Thrive, yes. well, then maybe you could do better. <laughs> and uh, you could like fool around and try different things that you finally hit the uh, the jackpot or you could go around to people and ask them what they do if they're growing good orchid. So, so uh, Palmer's cow bag with seaweed addresses all the issues that orchids like. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so that's the fertilizer. But there's one more fertilizer that I like. Osmocote. And that's Osmocote. Yes. There's also one thing called Nutricote, but I use Osmocote. So that's a time release fertilizer. It's like little, like little balls. And they're covered with some kind of coating and then they release the uh, fertilizer over, this was uh, five or six months release. Uh, what? What's the first number, the nitrogen? It's a 7, 15. 9, 12. 15, 9, 12. 15, 9, 12. Oh, it's five or six months is the one I've been using late. It's on the front. <coughs> huh? The number's on the front there, if you could just open it up. So we can see it on the right hand side there. It won't. <laughs> because of the way the load is dispersed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so they're little balls. Oh. Jamie, is that similar to dynamite? That's what I was wondering. Yeah. yeah. Is that similar to dynamite? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's that around. That's little balls, and they're good because. Every time I repot, I put some little balls into the bees. Yeah, good uh, idea. Sometimes they fall through because they're the bark. But of those, I only use a little bit because slippers don't like too much fertilizer. That thing's so toxic. So, uh, no, that that's not going to good because if you, like every May, we start forgetting to fertilize. To fertilize. Mm -hmm. So the osmocote helps out and that it keeps <coughs> giving the fertilizer during the uh, summer months. Do you use that plus the cow Yeah. And what about, remember there was a man a few months ago that he had the bucket of fertilizer, <coughs> like dirt? Carbon, the carbon fertilizer. Carbon. I don't know. I, didn't, well? I got the... I got some for free because that's so cool. But I never used it because I don't have a greenhouse, so I have to grow the stuff in my, what I call the lanai, and uh, then the stuff, the little, the black stuff would uh, fall on the floor. There's a lot of people talking now. Please, I forget to talk real loud and then you can't hear me. Uh, so I was afraid all the black stuff would fall on the fancy woodwork and Jackie would yell at me. <laughs> so I, I haven't even tried it yet. So if somebody knows that that's good, they can uh, give a talk. That's me. Huh? Oh, we use it, and we think it's been very successful out in the orchid room. There you go. Of course, you can't put it in a sprayer because those little particles, you know, don't dissolve that much. So what we do is we, we buy a two-gallon container from Dollar Tree or now a dollar and twenty-five or whatever it is, <laughs> and uh, we fill up two gallons, and then we do it at a diluted rate. It's supposed to be one cup, cup per ga gallon. Well, we put in like a, a half a cup for two gallons or something like that. But then when we put it on, we take a turkey baster and we stir it around, and then we scoop it up, put it down, squeeze it in. It's that easy. Okay. Which product are you talking about? Osmocote? Carbon. 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 No, the carbon fiber. Carbon yeah. fiber. Okay, I missed this. <laughs> Thank um, you. I have some of that. I've been using it that religiously. But if I was going to fertilize once a month, 
Would I do the one cup per gallon or would I do yeah, one cup per gallon? Per because like, uh, you know, you go buy fertilizer and it'll say uh, one teaspoon, you know, per gallon. Right. Well, that's per month. They don't say per month, but it's one teaspoon per gallon per month. Okay. So you get a lot of runoff with that. Not really. You don't, even with a big turkey booster. I mean, you don't get that much in there, you don't squeeze it. And you may see some coming out of the bottle, but not that much. Okay. And if, you know, you just move it around a little bit so it doesn't all go straight down. Worked out good. I think we're, we're having real good success with it out there. And then, of course, when we do that, we include a systemic... Uh, well, that's not a systemic fertilizer necessarily, but a systemic fungicide and a systemic insecticide ah. at the same time. In the same solution. In the same solution. Because oh. you're putting it down into the roots, it'll come on up into the plant, and it'll kill the insects or whatever it is when they bite. And Can you repeat that? I, put, I mix everything together. You know, the two gallons of water, the half a cup of carbon, then I put the insecticide in there and the fungicide. But I want I need to buy systemic fungicide and systemic any, any brand, it doesn't matter as long as it's systemic. Yeah. We use orthene for the insecticide. Ah. And I can't remember what the name it is for the fungicide. It's Fizan, Fizan twenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've been starting to use uh, Fizan 20 because, because the botanical garden has a whole bunch of it back there in a the shed, and we get it free then. It works. Okay. Good news. Whoever's got that black one. Hey, it's true that that carbon stuff works. Because I was at Walmart, I was going to get some shampoo, and I said, this sounds nice. Uh, cantaloupe flavored shampoo for that. And I said, wait, what's this? <coughs> All spiced. <coughs> Charcoal infused. <laughs> and, oh, that sounds better. <laughs> so I've been using that, matter of fact, I just used it this morning. <laughs> Charcoal infused, it's got little black spots in the, in the shampoo. <laughs> Okay, now, where were we? Fertilizer. Okay, you're lucky I have this bag I'll never use because I'm so old. So I did bring it. I've got little containers and uh, lids. Jamie, how much of that asshole was in those samples? How much did you put in? A fertilizer? And some. <laughs> Maybe like a teaspoon or less. Okay, so anyways, I brought the, the little containers and some lid, and everybody can have some of this on with them. Okay? I love Osmocrit. Okay, yeah. free fertilizer. Yeah. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Go yeah. so like this. Yeah. 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 So what? Would you like some help? I'll stop putting it in here so people don't rush you. Oh, that's a good idea. You need some help? Okay. Okay, now we're done with that part. Fertilizer, right? Yes. Any questions? I have a question. If um, it's the label says fertilize a teaspoon per month per gallon, and I do a it, huh? A month. Well, if it says a teaspoon per gallon, and I want to do it every week instead of once a month, would I do a quarter teaspoon yes. per gallon? Weekly, weekly, you cut it back. The bottom, it says a teaspoon, and you cut it weekly instead of monthly, you cut it back to quarter teaspoon. That's how orchids need if they're getting it consistent. Once you stop, you're in trouble. Okay, the other important thing besides the uh, uh, fertilizer is uh, the uh, is the quality of the water. So you can check your water yourself, 
or you could uh, send it to uh, Peter and Peter's fertilizer, and they will take it for you and recommend what you should do on your fertilizer. And uh, now the question sometimes is, I have a well, I have steady water, should I use that? Should I use the well water? The question is, none of those questions make any sense. You got to check the water. By well water and by city water in Salt Bay was really good. And over by Judy Wagner's house, her water was really good for the Zero Beach. to use uh, our own water and then mix it up with some other uh, regular water to make it really nice for her. And all the popular water like, it must be really good. So uh, if you buy the Chester water, this is only like, uh, I don't know, it was under $30. And it takes to be dissolved sour. And you can put it in your water. And immediately it tells you this is, this purified water from Publix is only 17, 17, whatever that means. Cash per million. Whatever is 17 is like really, really good. Purified water. Jamie, Jamie, how that up one of the so this cheap little thing is like really cool. So what makes the water bad? The rules? It was real hard and like where I live by well water is I checked it this morning. It was six hundred parts per million. Hey, stop talking guys. What? <coughs> Who? What? What's the difference between the distilled water and purified? I've told you distilled. Well, distilled, distilled is too pure, and when water is too pure, it acts like an acid, and it will uh, eat your. Hi. Right. And somehow you got distilled water going through your pipe. That's why if you go and buy a distilled water thing, it's just a little thing goes under your sink for your uh, drinking water. So, so this is only, uh, you can also test your pH, which is important for orchids. This is the thing I use, but this costs a hundred bucks, because I use it for the lab, and uh, it's important So I get the pH right for the lab stuff. So you can get like a pool. Pool testing kit. So this is 7.9, which is alkaline, mm -hmm. and yep. orchids don't care for alkaline water. So, uh, so when I add the stuff I put in there, it changes its mind. <laughs> it changes the pH of the water, so it's okay. So what's good? Well, that one's good for the What? Well, that one has good for orchids. What should the number be for orchids? Six. I think six. Six is good. Yeah. That's what I use. Okay, so so the water's got to be good. So, but when I do tonic, now we're going to talk about tonic. Now, some of you may have heard that if you buy an orchid from uh, Taiwan or places like that overseas, that they force their growth with so much hormones that it takes a while to get them used to not having those hormones. That's what you can give them here as far as they find the glue. Uh, a lot of people say that. I don't know if that's true. Uh, <coughs> Cause I usually get my orchids at the uh, auction we have here. And uh, they, they are from Taiwan. Uh, but these aren't hormones, I call them tonics. They're, uh, this is Calbag Plus. I got this before I started using Palmer's Calbag. So actually, I don't use this anymore, but it corrects common deficiencies. Yay. So you can take a picture of that. Jamie, this. This is uh, Super Thrive. Yeah. So everybody, a lot of people swear by Super Thrive. 
Use for transplanting and maintenance for all horticultural and agricultural means reduces transplant shock even for older and larger plants. Plant health promoting vitamin formula fills plant vigor a landscaper's best friend. Can you plant put that up? What? Can you just put the front up so we can see so I can take a picture of it? Thank you. They have it in Home Depot. They have it now. Yeah. Lowe's and Lowe's Home Depot. Yeah. Years ago, you were only by a factory. Okay. All the fertilizer that you you mentioned that do you do that all the time? So yeah. One once a week, the other one another week. You'd like to yeah. do you put them all together? No. I'm I use Azoco and Power. You don't use you don't use any do you use any This is a tonic. You yeah. use that with your <laughs> See they're tonic. They use them when you go to mount or plant <coughs> on a stick or on a board or whatever those are. Are you gonna repile them? Are you gonna divide them? Then you wanna use something to like oh, cheer them up. <coughs> Super Take fun. advantage of the opportunity with the roots exposed. There's 30 of these. Can we charge like a dollar? They could be $2.00 to the cost. Okay, good. Oh, that's not much. $1.00. Mm -hmm. Take it off at the cost. Is that your water over there? Oh, you could put some in your pot. Yeah. <laughs> what? Is that your water over there? Do you need to drink water? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so now another tonic you could use besides <clears throat> what we're going to do because we got all these uh, dug ups and we're going to, whoever wants to, we're going to make two gallons of tonic water, the special one I use, and uh, <laughs> don't hurt this is the wrong thing. The special tonic I do, which is the rest of the stuff, and uh, okay, try to calm down. We're going to make some special tonic water to dip our bed that we're going to mount today, which will give them a real head start. You know, sometimes you hear this and that, like uh, soft palmetto is good for prostate problems. <laughs> Stuff like that. What do they call that? Home remedies or wife tales or folklore. Most of it isn't good. <clears throat> but some things are good. This is good. This is better. This again is not a hormone. This is called a uh, harpin protein. It's a protein. So uh, at one time, uh, at one time we had a group called Species and Spirits, and we would talk about species orchids, and then they would get drunk. So uh, the guy that was running that was a orange grove guy, and he said, "Ha ha ha," and he was also a nursery man for orchids that he had. He said, ha, 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 I know about a thing we use in orange groves that will really make your orchids grow. But it was only, harpet protein was only sold to like orange groves in skids of 125 pound bags. So that wasn't much use to orchid people. So he kept talking, talking, talking. He said, uh, one of the other guys that worked at Orchid Island Botanical, he ordered a skid. He got it at there and sold it to every, he had to find a lot of people to buy it. I think it was like uh, 60 or 100 dollars a bag. Anyways, I got some and I tried it. I had little baby orchids this big, which just came out of a flask, which I have been chilling for 20 years. And I have no luck whatsoever with them. I was sending the flask over to Hawaii pay a big bucks to get up some ground, to get a start. So anyways, I bought some, so I had this one tray of the little babies, and then another tray of the wet tray, I put the carpet protein fertilizer on, and it was so obvious, this works. 
They were so healthy and vigorous they didn't die. So what the Harper protein does, it active, it's like a uh, see, It activates the stuff in the organ that makes it release stuff in the organ that makes it healthy and grow and resistant to this or that. So I found that, so then over the years, they finally, I mean, this is a lot of story, but over the years, they finally sold out the uh, formula. It, it comes from plants. They make it out of plants. So they finally sold it out to uh, people that make it a little bitty things for, uh, for uh, us. Not just orchids, but any, you do this and the weeds will grow too. So, um, so what, is the what is the first word? Laurie. What is the first word before huh? protein? What? The first word before protein. Did you call Harpin it? Harpin protein. H-A-R-P-I-N. The boxes go around you can take a picture of it. And you can come up here after another and look at everything. Alright. Thank you. So the Harpin is a protein and it activates the plant's protection, and it really works. And I also, because there was a fertilizer in the old days, and I had to a bag of it, so I sprayed it on my dendrobiums and my other stuff, and uh, they had so many flowers, the spikes were like falling down and breaking off. I said, well, I have to not use this. It's no good that the spikes break off because they're so heavy. Do you use that in all orchids or just? Yeah, even on weeds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they must use that in others because they got a lot of weeds. <laughs> so you can get this. You got to make sure you get it. Not from somebody who bought a bunch of these from the manufacturer, but you want to get it from the guy that manufactured it. So you Google Harper Protein and I get it from Axiom. Because you don't let it sit around, it doesn't like last forever. So if it's already old when you got it, then you have to worry about it. So we're going to put some of that in our uh, <laughs> We're going to put some of that in our uh, Okay, there's also rooting horrible. Okay, now this is a horrible. But that's okay because it comes from plants. So it originally came from plants because I was uh, artificially manufactured. I'm not talking about ripto, the powder. Don't put that on your orchids. It's no good according to this article I read by knowledgeable people. You gotta use uh, uh, liquid. Uh, Ritto. And all the Ritto's, if you see, you can buy some Ritto in a little thing like this, and it costs $30. Well, it's the same thing that says something that costs $5, because it's a, like a chemical. It's a formula of, of uh, NAA, blah, 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 blah. So no matter what you get, you get the same thing. So we're going to put some uh, new stuff. So I just started to try. It's uh, okay. I was had to finish. There's a. Uh, did I bring it? Yeah. So this is a new thing that some guy made. Did you ever go to the marijuana stores where they sell all the stuff for people that grow marijuana? Things like this, and they're like eighty dollars a bottle. And when you look at the formula, it says uh, nitrogen one percent, phosphorus zero. Well, that sounds pretty weak. So anyway, this is a new thing. I, I just started using it. Somebody's swearing by it. 
Sunny concentrated. Wait, that's what. This is quantum total. Plant probiotic enhances photosynthesis and grows plant vigor, reduces need for chemicals. Jamie? Huh? How often do you go to marijuana clinics? <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. It's a long drive for me. It's a half hour. But there's a. It's the same as a, as a store that labels itself as hydroponic. <laughs> okay. Okay. He said marijuana. And I know, but. Well, I caught the marijuana yeah. store. <laughs> But That's it's when it it's started out as and they have the walk. neck pots. Uh, yeah. Jamie, can you over fertilize? I mean, not, I, I never, yeah. I don't do it in the yeah, You can't yeah. over fertilize. Yeah. Especially okay. slippers, because if you don't, we pot them at least once a year, the extra fertilizer in there will burn the little hairy roots. I thought. Okay. These have hairy roots, but these do not. So those little hairy roots can be burnt. So anyways, the new stuff that somebody's passing around for you to take pictures of, increases crop yields by 10 to 15% or more. It has this flower size and color. <laughs> it's safe for people, wildlife, and the environment. Improves potting many of all sorts. It has this photosynthesis and speeds growth. It improves nutrients uptake. Is this the new one you got? This is the new one. So sounds good. But then I, I also got this other one which I, I split with somebody and I only got half. So it's called, uh, I don't Kelpak Premium Bio